Well, welcome back, fixed blade lovers, and I assume you are if you're watching this video, or at least curious about fixed blades. Uh, this is a new one to my collection. I'm told it's an older model, and they're being replaced. And I got a nice note from uh, Mikkel Willemsen from Copenhagen, the designer and a custom maker in his own right. Um, indicating that I had an older model because I had posted this on Instagram uh, before doing this video review for YouTube. So uh, this is in a designed in a very typical for Mikkel uh, design of kind of a spear point drop point I'm going to call it. You know it's a spear point with a swedge or a drop point with a swedge with uh, rounded uh, spine and rounded edge. This is the despot and that's an interesting name because that means a tyrant or a dictator. Um, maybe the design here is to take down the tyrant or the di dictator. I don't know. <laughs> but we've got a fine or finer stone wash on as you can see an OS 8 blade so he kept the price down with the steel uh, this is listing at a hundred dollars on white mountain knives if you use my discount code it'll be ninety dollars roughly um, there is a prominent lanyard hole in the pommel this one is natural finish to the blade and black g10 I believe there's a green and black, black and blade. And there's also a medium model of this. So this is coming in. Well, we'll measure it up in a bit. I'll get all my stats together so that we can group them. Uh, it's comfortable in the hand. It's a relatively thin handle. There's your marking, Willemsen, Copenhagen. This is his own offering, his own company. It's not being manufactured other than probably some unknown OEM uh, by any other company because he has done designs, uh, many of them for other companies, particularly Concept lately. And I think there's a few Kaisers out there. Uh, but he has his own company. And the Chibs, which uh, I'll show you in a minute and I've done a review on, uh, is also from his own company. So, uh, bigger knife, not a tiny kind of a pocket thing. So, uh, right off, let's do some measurements, and I'm going to need to back out a little bit because we've got a larger knife here. And let's see if that does it. So, point to pommel, got nine and a quarter inches. The blade, if we take it to the plunge grind, is four inches. It's uh, four and three quarters if you take it to the handle, but that's going to include the guard, so that's not really fair. Uh, measuring the edge, we've got like four and an eighth. Okay. And the handle thickness in inches, 0 0.60, right on the nose. Blade thickness, a hefty 4.7 millimeters. And, let's get a weight on it. Hello to you too, Mr. Scale. It is 7.04, we'll call it 7.05 ounces. It's a fixed blade knife. You're not going to carry it in your pocket, most likely. It does come with a nicely made Kydex sheath with a variant of the well-known tech lock on the back. You've got to flip that safety before you can open it up. So, a <clears throat> little different design. I've seen these before, however. Uh, it's in there nice. Very, very slight amount of rattle. Easily pushed off. So, 
I'm liking that. Now it's a design, as I said, that uh, Mikael is well known for. Here is the Helix made by Concept. And that's a big knife. You'll see that overall comes in very close to the same length as the fixed blade despot although the blade is about an inch shorter and this is a beautiful knife uh, they make this in a uh, <coughs> excuse me they make this one in I believe it's D2. Why? There it is. Yeah, D2. Right there. So they make this one in D2, but they do make one, I believe, in 154 cm. Uh, or maybe it's S35. I think it's S35. I'll leave some links for White Mountain Knives and uh, any other links that are pertinent in the description. I think what I'm pointing out here is that he likes this style of blade and here is the recently released Chibs liner lock also with a very similar blade shape so he's using that a lot you might say you can sort of pick his work out if not by the interesting profile of the handle then definitely by the way he does the blade. That one's got ever so slightly a Tonto-esque grind. And I don't know how long that will last after one sharpening. It's kind of interesting that they did that. <clears throat> so let's take the folders out and let's do a comparison with another knife that sort of falls into the same size category. This is the Civivi Kepler that you may recall that I did a review on. This is larger by, well, let's see, is it larger? Yeah, overall length larger by about an inch on the Kepler, but also an unusual style blade from Civivi. And this one, is this one, uh, this is a uh, Torbay, uh, yeah, Torbay Knives design. I'm trying to get the steel on it. I don't know that they marked the steel on this one. Anyway, it would be nice if they did. You can see that in the review on this particular knife. Uh, but comes in close in terms of uh, handle thickness. Although it's slightly shorter. And um, the Despot has a uh, significantly thicker blade stock. Even though the Kepler keeps the point a little thicker. But this is about the Despot. I like the Ergos on it. They're pretty simple. He does like to give you the two finger choil that's ever so slightly a choil and I guess that will allow for variances in your hand size and uh, you can hold this in a saber grip very excellent jimping here it's a deep jimping not overly sharp but definitely will grab and it's a fine point nice wedge Handle scales appear to be removable with torques on either side. I'm going to guess without checking them out that they're a T8. For 100 bucks or really 90 with a discount, I think it's a solid knife. You may not care for the budget steel, which is OS 8, but definitely uh, is rust resistant, much more so than D2. It's got a usable belly, 
high flat grind and a pretty fine edge. Definitely capable of piercing even though it's a wide blade and plenty of beef there so if you needed to do a little light prying it would probably hold up. Quick comparison with uh, let's say a folder Benchmade Griptilian you can see it's certainly larger, certainly taller, but uh, just for size reference, right? I'm thinking if you needed a larger knife and didn't want the fixed blade and its virtues, you might go with something like the Helix, and uh, as I said, you can get it in a higher end steel, S35VN, but they're going to come in around 200 bucks on the, uh, the Helix folder. For half of that, you can get a stout fixed blade. Uh, Mikkel tells me that uh, he has a number of new designs on the, not on the drawing board, but ready for release uh, from his own company, uh, as well as in concert with SOG. So we got to look for that, right? So there you go, a uh, fixed blade knife, the Despot, by Willemsen Copenhagen, Mikkel Willemsen Designer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe.